Oh, we're live. Hi, everybody. Cheryl Lynn with Maketh University. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, wait. Hear that? That's the shofar in the background. Okay. I have much to shofar and shout about. Hey, welcome. Um, let me know, how was the volume? I'm actually going to give it a boop real here, a boop on the snoop. Um, okay, to make it louder for you. And um, okay, how is that for... Yeah, okay. The background is messy. Let's just get started. Hey, welcome to Makeup University. Welcome to my live video. If you didn't see yesterday's, please catch up with it. And most importantly, let me talk to you about doing live. I have wanted to do a live video for a long time on YouTube. I do them on Facebook a lot. Well, I haven't done it in the past couple of months. Let me be truthful. But a lot before that. I was always scheduled out. But the schedule has been very um, great good, busy, and I just haven't had time to. I just totally got distracted. I saw a roadrunner go through my yard. Oh, you guys, I live in Arizona. And um, the roadrunner is just a special, special bird. And it's such a unique thing to see. So, okay, let's keep it on track because it is Wine Wednesday, Vault Boy. And I'm in the office. And yesterday's video, I'll just bring you up to speed real quick. Yesterday's video was about... I've been so blessed, been traveling, uh, good gigs, good travel, and I'm really happy about it. But the thing is, YouTubers, you know what I'm talking about. It takes a lot of time to make a bad video. And then if you're going to make a good video, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. You need to go out, shoot the video, bring it back edit it, add music, title cards, links, blah, blah, blah. It takes time. And I, I have noticed that I used to just get a little bit of money from YouTube. That is just gone. And it used to, I was covered all of this yesterday about the, how the suggested videos used to suggest mine. I need the penny, you guys. And um, now it suggests like a major network show, cable show, a celebrity, instead of more makeup university. So the thing is, for me personally, I'm not ready to quit. I'm really going to wait till the end of the year and finish the Resolve Tuesday series. Every Tuesday, do a self-help, self-coaching, positive encouragement to keep me on my, my New Year's resolutions. So... Long story short, why the live video is because it lets me uh, continue to support the Makeup University YouTube channel. And for Makeup University, some snide hater here on YouTube was snarking about a video that I did that I'd received product for. And they were making fun of the subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Haters going to hate. And uh, Makeup University started 13 years ago as a written blog because I like to write. <laughs> the whole do a video thing was the last thing on my mind. I personally love to write and uh, the Makeup University written blog for a century. No, not a century, like 12 years would receive product samples a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So grateful for that. And that's why you see all of this right here. I am cleaning, clearing, Marie kondo all of my makeup sheds, all of the makeup closets, and I am getting rid of everything. Just if you aren't, and it's funny, I I would say I have a dozen products that uh, skincare, makeup, foundation, sunscreen, I love sunscreens. Those are the things that I use every day, every week, every month. I use the same handful, the same dirty dozen, I guess, of products. So everything that you see sitting there, it's just got to go. So it is. So this is Wine Wednesday. Let's talk about wine and cans for cans for cans. So I, if you look in Makeup University, like down there where they have all the suggested videos or like it shows the other videos I've made, I did a Wine Wednesday, which was similar to Bunny, Swamp Girl. Love her. I'm a Swamp family member. I love her follow me around videos. And I made my first follow me around at Total Wine a couple weeks back when I was in Las Vegas for the NAV show. And so give me, I need some grace when we do the lives because uh, 
I keep forgetting where's the camera. It's like right, bing, it's right there. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Grace, Grace. Okay, so I was at Total Wine and I want to try something new. And the deal is uh, to keep it in $10 and under. And also, I've been practicing Dave Ramsey's whole uh, and Brittany. Everybody says that do cash only. Set yourself a cash budget for the week. And whatever you're buying, whether it's groceries, gasoline, and incidentals, you do it with your cash. And uh, I really, I'm not saving thousands of dollars a week, but I'm saving nickels and dimes here and there because I'm not going debit, 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 dollar here, $2 there, $5 here, which at the end of the week, you know, it kind of added up. So long story short, I went with cash in hand to the total wine, knowing I wanted to get at least two at $40 to spend. Oh, that was hard. That is how I didn't walk out spending $100, which is normally what would happen. I spent the 40. I remember it was $38 and change. And I bought two bottles and I have those to review in other videos. One, I already had the one. It was really good. San Gregorio. Woo, good. And then I wanted to try uh, like to go uh, something you could take to the river and have it be recyclable and not breakable. And uh, this is kind of a thing now, kind of like some of the gastropubs have put wine in kegs on tap. And I totally agree with it because if you drink wine, you know that corked wine, it's, it's different. It's off. It's not bad, but it's not good. And so long story short, canned wine, don't snub it. It's like screw cap wine. Don't be a snob because screw cap wine is actually, I've had a couple of different varieties and they're good, you know, just because it doesn't have cork and it's not even really cork anymore. Anyhow, it's that synthetic stuff. Um, point being, Try these. So I have the one brand. It's called Marval. And then it says, it's cute. It says on the label, you are marvelous. Do you guys remember that? Like, it's like almost like way back, way back. There was a character, I forget his name. And he would say, you look marvelous. So I had the white. And honestly, like in big picture, I don't like white wine. But I did like this. It had a um, crisp pineapple finish to it. And it was a hint sweet, a hint dry. And I actually could drink it and like it. And I had this when I was catching up. So I had one each night, uh, like three nights in a row, because I was catching up on all of the Game of Thrones season seven to be ready for season eight. I can't even take the weight for the Sunday. My son and I love to watch It's the Grand Tour and it just really hurt that Amazon Prime would release it one per Friday for 13 weeks. And we watched every Friday, pizza and Grand Tour. I mean, it was a thing for us and now it's over. And um, I'm telling a long story that uh, you are marvelous. This is the red and then there was a rosé. Honestly, I like the red. And it, when you look on the back, um, this says Vigne de France. So it's made in France and imported by Riverside Imports in New Rochelle, New York. 12.5% uh, alcohol. So like normal, you can get or learn more at, I'm going to pronounce it Vina Days, V-I-N-A-D-E-I-S. I will put that in. The, well, actually, Hey, let's make use of the the thing here in the chat. Uh, I'm going to say check out. Uh, let's say learn more. Learn more at venadays.com, right? Okay, venadays, product of France, venadays.com. Hitting enter so you can learn more about that. The red was good. The rosé is the only one that, even though I don't like white wine, I liked the white more than I liked the rosé. The rosé was just, to me, it was just kind of syrupy sweet. And so I wasn't a big fan. These were about $3.99 each, $3.79. They weren't like $5 each. They were definitely under that. And I was able to get, you know, my couple of bottles and then all of these to try. And the reason why I got one of each is because just 
just to take a sample. And I just really, in 2019, 5780, I am so pushing myself to try something new, to do an old thing differently, new, just really pressing for experience. So um, the white actually pineapple-y. And I remember I was thinking, I don't like, especially as I was watching Arya Stark and I thought, what would Arya do? I don't really like white wine, but this was good. It was okay. I would have it again. How about that? And then there is this, I found this there. I've had this before. It's called We Are California Red Blend. It's like a little mini. I seem to remember this too is about $3. So if you are going to BYOB and you want to take wine, you could take this. And it was really nondescript. It's a Sonoma County, California. It's so weird. There is like a, can you hear that? There's like a helicopter in my area. So weird. Because I'm in a really rural area. Like if I was in a city or near an airport, yeah, I'd understand. But no, I'm in a rural area. So, uh-oh. You know what that means. All right, moving on. Um, long story short, it says a fun, delicious blend of the best grapes California has to offer proprietary red blend family owned winery in Sonoma, California, uh, hooked with the first sip, juicy plum on your palate. You know what? Long story short, I just remember that I liked it and I thought, oh, this would be a cute little grab and go for the beach or the river trip or whatever you're doing and you don't want to carry glass. I know that the little mini cans or no mini bottles that are shaped like a wine bottle, you'll find it in like Gallo makes it. <laughs> uh, those little mini bottles are usually like five for a four, five to five ninety nine for like a four pack, and they are okay. And it's shaped like a wine bottle. This little can, it was good. I liked it. I would get it again. So to wrap up my Wine Wednesday uh, live here, that you are marvelous, Marval from France. That was the other thing. I remember when I looked at the label, uh, it says BPA free, by the way, if that matters, that could matter for you that the liner inside the can is BPA free. I just remember that I wanted to try something new. I want to try something from a new country because German wines are different than French wines. I tend to love um, South American wines. I love wine from Chile and Argentina. I don't know what it is. I just love love those red wines and I'll drink California wines and now there's Arizona wines. I just, if you've ever seen the movie sideways, there is the most beautiful scene where the lead actress is talking about what was going on with the grapes at that time, that year, because it's different from year to year, season to season. And this year for me in my adventures in wine and tasting new tastes, I just thought I'm going to try this canned wine from France. Wow. When I was in Japan, I was just shocked that I could go to the vending machine and buy sake and I could choose if I wanted it hot or cold or with a Sapporo beer chaser. And I was like, wow. And then the vending machine over, you could buy a suit and tie. And then in this vending machine, you could buy your underwear, underwear, change of clothes, liquor, all in vending machines right there on the side of the street in Tokyo. Wow. <laughs> Way to be prepared, you guys. So long story short, this Wine Wednesday is really all over. I was talking about this yesterday that I like to have the freestyle format just to visit and chat with you. Though there's also a part of me, like the producer in me is like, no, you need to be targeted bullet point, boom, boom, boom. Intro, bullet points. No, intro, greeting, bullet points. Uh, tag and outro cut. And normally that's what happens when I'm making a video. And I'm doing my second live here and I'm telling you, it is kind of all over the road. Long story short, I like this. I like that. I bought these at Total Wine. These were under $10. And in fact, each of them is under $5. So the one serving, like this one has more in the serving. I might buy this one twice. Uh, each can is under $5 for a single serving. You know, that's a good price. And then I have the opportunity to go to can and I'm kind of just weighing out 
the benefits. Like for me, I just don't want to go to be going. Um, not really much of a peacocker, but I am going to tighten that up in the next week because the time is short. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And I haven't made a decision yet, but I'm, I'm praying about it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching my live video, Live Wine Wednesday. As always, if you have a wine, see, this is proof right here that it's new for me. If you have a wine that you would like to recommend that is $10 and under, please let me know in the comments below. And I shop at the Walmart, the Safeway, that's what's in my area. And then I go to Total Wine. I just, Speaking of wine, I just ordered a bunch of Israeli wines for Passover. I am so excited to get those and get into it and then um, sip, savor, and enjoy. All right, let me know what you want to see. I thank you for watching. Hey, everybody, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today. Mwah! Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to hit end stream.